Hello friends, Namaste, hope you are doing well. Welcome to another episode. Today I am going to discuss about our belief. We believe in one God and we also believe in many other God and Goddess who are actually power of that God. Ishwar or Bhagavan is only one. In Vedas, there is a one phrase, Ek Adityam, and that means I am one and only. But why there is so many forms of God and Goddess? So when I was a kid, I was very curious about those matters and my source of knowledge was my grandparent like my grandpa and grandma so at that time it was a tradition like in every house there is a place where god and goddess are worshipped and we call that place as thakurgar that means where all thakurs are living with us so there were some pictures, pictures like Lord Vishnu uh, sleeping on a big snake and Mata Lakshmi is taking care of his uh, legs and it is like a uh, nostalgic picture and from the novel there is a lotus and top of that lotus lord brahma was there so that was the first picture that made me curious about the belief and the mythology so that time i didn't have the knowledge and the resource like study all those things so what was the resource that time ask your grandparent or parent about that story and then the way it was explained was interesting for me because these explanations were similar to some cartoon stories uh, that a kid generally watch on television and relate all the characteristic their superpower their miracles and all those things but now is the time when you are after 40 you have a curiosity to know this thing and around the world people are so much crazy about the belief and the religion then what was that religion hindu is a word that defined all the people that are believer of god and goddess hindu god and god and in any scripture in hinduism the word hindu was not used it is our understanding so uh, people who came uh, in india from outside like from arab or from europe they define our sub our universal set of belief our universal set of religion as hinduism like these people believe in all the god and goddess and that's why they are uh, belongs to hinduism okay so if you ask me what is your most secret holy book um maybe in first word i will say that simad bhagavad gita but there are many other books that related to simad bhagavad gita and uh, mm, so we are not a believer of a single book but we are a believer of a library of book we don't have only one god we have different forms of god and above all we believe in ek and now what is our existence this existence of uh, the universe is a big question when there was no scientific evidence, there was no uh, 
scientific equipment to research on that even today we are utilizing different kind of high resolution telescope sending uh, our uh, our satellites to uh, the outer space and observing the whole uh, universe uh, for knowing some truth that how this universe was created as for the today's advancement we believe that the universe is uh, uh, is is created from some energy right and that energy may be in the form of black hole where where the there was and there is a big uh, big big bang theory there was a big bang and all the universe created if you follow the explanation of steve hawking's uh steve hawking's novel and uh, at present we are capable to picturize the uh, picture is the back black holes so uh, most uh, recently we see a picture of black holes is published by uh, by a british uh, astrology uh, astronomy institute and on bbc you will find that picture like two big holes so these are compared to our Jagannath's two eyes. Uh, that is my imagination. But uh, there is no proof of <laughs> this uh, comment. But anyway, uh, I want to explore our belief not from uh, the facts that are available all over the internet, just from the personal experience. How one common man who belongs to Hindu community how they start their belief let us explore so in our today's conversation I am going to focus on only one form of three murti we believe that three gods three gods unified together uh, for building this universe okay like a Trimurti means Brahma, Vishnu, Mahishar. So Brahma is the creator. Brahma is the creator, and we see, we and we know that story that when there was nothing in this universe, there was only water, and Vishnu was sleeping for a long time, unlimited time, on a uh, on a Sheshnag, that Anantanag, that is a big snake that has no tail, no and and many heads so this picture uh, symbolized that there was no creation at that time and then um, from the novel uh, lord brahma appears and uh, uh, he is part of lord vishnu and lord vishnu gave him a task that i have created so many uh, so many space around you and complete uh, these space are totally empty so fill them with some creation some uh, create something uh, for here so he started uh, creating some manosh putro and uh, these uh, these manosh putros were busy in uh, tapasya meditation and doing doing some some worship of lord vishnu and actually they were not interested in uh, in creation then lord brahma created man and omen and uh, that is how the whole creation started so if we look at the uh, ncn story of uh, lord brahma because lord brahma is less known uh, less worshipped than he, he is well known but less worship uh, goddess among all other we see lord vishnu's temples everywhere we see lord shiva's temple temple almost everywhere in india but there is a very few temple available about lord brahma and you will find one temple in pushkar rajasthan and there are some other few temples here and there in different corner of of the country but you will not find it 
as many as Lord Vishnu's temples or Lord uh, Lord Shiva's temple. So why he is not worshipped? So if you uh, look at the ancient Puranic history uh, or stories, so you will find that at at the very beginning when Lord Brahma was instructed to uh, start creation by uh, Lord Vishnu, he started creating all the plants that living in seas and are on the earth surface he created all the animals he created insects all all kind of birds all kind of uh, all kind of human being and these were limited at that time so he got some sort of uh, su some sort of proud feeling inside him and he was thinking i am the creator of the whole universe so once in the purju lord sri krishna invited brahmas in his uh, kingdom and brahma went there and the gatekeeper asked him a question uh, which brahma so Brahma was surprised about the question because he he was thinking I am the only Brahma in the in the whole universe and at uh, that time he told he answered that I am Chaturmukhi Brahma that means I have only four head so when he entered into these uh, Rajshava uh, Sri Krishna uh, showed him that you are the only Brahma and see there are other Brahmas around you and uh, they have 10 hairs, 20 hairs, 100 hairs um, and millions of hairs. So, Ananta Koti Brahman, that means all over the universe there are many Brahman and the Brahma, Brahman where we are living uh, is created by Chaturmukhi Brahma and the other universe beyond our universe is created by other brahmas so there are many brahmas actually so it is an interesting fact and after that uh, brahma realized that yes the universe is very big and i am i have created only this universe and anantakuti brahman is around is much larger than that and it, it is also very interesting fact that the time is also relevant to that. It is uh, said that almost trillions year is equivalent to to Brahma's just one year. So human being, uh, he is a very long uh, time span uh, for uh, living. And uh, there is a fact, and uh, let me check this fact because I want to share the real fact with you that is available on the internet uh, about Lord Brahma. And uh, actually, Brahma's lifespan is is very very large. Why? Because he is also called uh, the Probita Moho, that ancestor of all god and god he was the first creature um, god he was the first god created by lord vishnu so uh, 100 brahma years is equivalent to 311 trillion human year so you can understand and that brahma year is uh, a very short time for lord vishnu so, time, universe are related and uh, that mythology may uh, thousands years ago uh, discovered that it was an ima amazing, uh, amazing fact, in fact. So, when he started the creation, he created one uh, beautiful daughter and 
and name was Shotorupa. That means Shoto means hundred, Rupa means forms. So Shotorupa was able to take hundred forms and hundred uh, hundred uh, rup, and that was a matter of anxiety for Lord Brahma, and that's why when he was uh, uh, taking care of her, uh, he was always looking at all all uh, all sides so he created four head around his uh, one head so at the beginning he had only one head and then he created four other head for three other head around his uh, one head so that he can take care of her daughter and uh, it was very annoying uh, for Shotarupa and that's why I uh, he she it was very annoying for her and she tried to escape from that uh, gazelle that uh, the kid uh, the that uh, bounded Situ uh, situation so she was looking for freedom and that's why she escaped uh, upwards direction then brahma created one more head at the top of his head and he become uh, a a deity of four five head and uh, lord shiva was not happy with this kind of behavior and he uh, cut down that fifth head so this was a symbol that actually the the uh, lord, lord um, brahma was god of knowledge and and he is lord of all vedas but he was uh, control control freak person like he was trying to control his uh, daughter his creation and uh, he was not concentrating uh, concentrating on anything any particular topic uh, particular thing and that also symbolized that uh, that you have to be focused on something otherwise you are uh, are not happy so brahma was not happy about about all the creation because he was always thinking about his daughter and son everything that is that was one story and and uh, he was a very good uh, admirer of uh, music music then logic and and the uh, vedas so um, he has four hands and four hands indicates the four vedas uh, once he was busy in listening the music of mata Saraswati, and at that time one um, rishi bhrigu who is also called devorshi uh, the uh, he was inviting him uh, for a yoga and he was uh, brahma was actually uh, actually so busy with that music uh, of um, mata Sharshati, he did not respond and as a result uh, brigu also cursed uh, brahma that nobody is going to worship you in in earth so we see that there is a very little number of uh, temples all over India uh, about Brahma. So Brahma is also associated with uh, with fire, and his color is red, and uh, his wife is uh, Lord uh, uh, Saraswati Mata Saraswati. So. What we see that Brahma is associated with knowledge 
Brahma is associated with creation. Uh, he is associated with wealth. And uh, the kind of uh, guna or the quality is associated with Brahma is Rajogun. So Rajogun means the power of creation, the power of uh, starting something new and um, and it is symbolized that you are spending your energy for creating something and after that whatever you have created it is uh, you it is something need to be preserved and the for preservation uh, there is a lord and this lord is lord vishnu so brahma is the creator lord vishnu is the preserver that preserving that creation and lord uh, lord shiva is the destroyer so we see the female power associated with these three gods also symbolize uh, some some meaningful part of our life like when there is a, a marriage ceremony we worship lord brahma because that is the starting of a new life and uh, lord brahma um, brahma's wife is power of knowledge lord Saraswati, music art um, science all sort of knowledge is a, is the owner the power of knowledge is coming from that god and goddess lord brahma and uh, lord and uh, lord brahma and mata Saraswati. so if you look at their vehicle like a swan or a rajhams or a white swan uh, what is its quality its quality is taking out the water uh, taking out the milk from the water that means you are extracting knowledge from everything you are observing around you and that is the quality of rajhams so here vishnu is uh, associated with lord Raksh, uh, lakshmi uh, mata lakshmi lord vishnu is associated with mata lakshmi and mata lakshmi is the uh, the owner of wealth wealth so uh, here we see that uh, lord shiva is associated with mata parvati parvati is the bonding in uh, in families in uh, the kind of bonding we see around us among families so these three gods are associated with three goddesses and three goddesses are three powerhouses knowledge wealth and the bonding so it's an amazing uh, explanation of human life's major uh, meaningful areas like you have to acquire knowledge you have to spend your energy for the creation for creating something great it, it is not creating only your son and daughter create something that can change the world that can make the world so powerful human were just other creature if you think scientifically that human were just like other creature like a monkey or a dinosaur or or an elephant etc that was but they those creatures are not able to take the gigantic shape at this at this time human are the biggest giant all over the world how their giant human can travel thousands mile thousands and thousands mile within a few hours within few hours we can move from one place to another place from india to us uh, we can uh, deep drive into the deep sea we can go to mars we can go to e even at the present human are not uh, able to reach mars but we reach to moon and the we can see the universe from from the space and these gigantic powers like we build uh, 
big mono, big structure uh, because of the knowledge okay so knowledge is a significant power for human and then preserving that uh, the, the preservation of this art the importance of preserving this art giving equal importance to every creature and that is uh, the uh, understanding of lord vishnu's worship that vishnu is someone who exists inside every living creature you have to respect them you have to give them importance because they are part of our existence and we have to believe that and that there is some power which that is going to destroy us destroy us and uh, that is lord shiva and he's he's destroying all the all the living creature and that's why we we have to believe that the death is 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 very common for all living creature but that is not the final destination of life because you are in a cycle of birth and death and it is a continuous process okay so we believe in incarnation and incarnation we believe in punarjama so it's a kind of chakra chakra around you you are in a cycle you want to escape from so our today's topic is about lord brahma and why lord brahma is less worshipped because of his few mistakes and we actually understand that the brahma is the energy we spend for the creation so we uh, we generally do not worship lord brahma because something is already created because of brahma we got our life and we want to preserve it that's why we worship for lord vishnu we we worship lord shiva for the energy and the power for power so here brahma is associated with fire uh, lord vishnu is associated with sun lord um, or or this whole universe and lord shiva is associated with moon so these are also considered as the powerhouse of uh, of our belief so what do we offer them what we can offer them we can offer uh, them some meditation for lord for worshiping lord shiva we we need hard meditation we need a very um, devotional life for worshiping uh, lord vishnu because if you want to worship lord vishnu you have to be very devoted to uh, your god like everything is doing for for some reason for reason that what we what i am um, feeling right now because of some karma what i am going to uh, face in future it is also because of my present karma so lord brahma is associated with past we are not worshiping our past lord vishnu is the present the way we are living in this world and lord shiva is the future because one day we are going to destroyed from this universe and lord um, shiva is that power lord shiva is that power and uh, that's why we need an line uh, an line to, uh, sorry <laughs> that's why we need some sort of enlightenment the lotus symbolize that enlightenment so uh, the thousands of petals pallets uh, of rose i'm sorry of lotus symbolize that uh, you are enlightened enlightened brahmodai and that means you are enlightened 
so once you are in light you need to do worship worship by your devotion worship by um, doing good for the all living creatures and then you um, need some meditation some uh, some chanting and those is also known as tapasya so job tapasya all those things are for for the future future uh, for making the destroyer happy the lord shiva happy and when you reach to that and light and lighted situation you got the shiddhi and uh, when you start the uh, process you are just ignited you are just enlightened and in the middle now big question is we understood understood why we are suffering we understood the situation of present and we understood a little bit about a future if we are not doing something good something bad will happen in future then what is the present situation what we can do right now so right now you can do only one thing whenever you get some time whenever you get some free time if you have some belief if you have some belief on whichever form of god maybe your according to your belief one one god is there his name is ishwar bhagavan rama or um, sri krishna gobinda whichever name you are giving that god just remember him just chant his name spend some time with uh, with peace and calm uh, environment and you will get your answer you will get your um, your mental state where you will see that everything around you is an illusion and uh, the the atma inside you is uh, just in a situation like you are sleeping and dreaming a uh, particular story which is going uh, which is going on on your present life when you will wake up and you will you will see that uh, this world is, was an illusion you are not part of this you know uh, in simad bhagavatam we see uh, we have listened many stories about about lord sri krishna and uh, he was a kind of thief uh, why uh, he was stealing uh, butter from uh, all the gopis and all the mothers of uh, gopi balaks because uh, bo gopi boys so because there is some butter inside you and that butter symbolizes your your devotion to uh, to the spring so if you have some butter inside you like you have some devotion inside you then lord sri krishna will come to you in the form of a uh, gopala and he is going to steal your butter from your mind and you have to form that butter and if a an atma is something you cannot burn it if we, you cannot make it wet big according to bhagavad gita then your atma is uh, is something that should uh, that is not attached to the present grief present joys present uh, good positions because these are not attached to atma when you are living this world you will not take carry out all those things but people will remember you if you do can do something good for 
the society and uh, that's why we uh, call them Mahatmas and uh, because they did something great. So Mahatmas are all the great devotees of Bhagavan or Isha around you, all the sant, all the great uh, narrator of uh, glory of Bhagavan are sant and Mahatmas and we should worship them, we should uh, show our respect, we should bow down in front of them so that uh, their power can enlight us that their power can enlighten our, our life thank you so much for listening uh, it was a good conversation in future i will discuss more about our belief and thought and till then take care om shanti see you in the next episode